everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the mid-month love readings for all zodiac signs this is going to be for Taurus again like I said these are love readings if you're interested in any of my consultations or are wanting consultations sorry <laughs> definitely look at the description box below you'll be able to find my personal information on there so let's see what spirit has for you guys okay Taurus for the mid-month of August 2017 regarding your love life, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, this is the last shuffle. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you guys. Beautiful cards, Taurus. Wow. Wow, manifestations for you guys. Okay, let's get into your reading. So the center issue, you have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is definitely wanting to expand either... Uh, sharpen your abilities, your creative abilities, either trying to pursue some type, some type of career or put your passion into, it's kind of like the being pushed to follow your passion and turn it into a profitable, um, a profitable opportunity. So it's kind of like, um, for those of you out there that are artistic or like to paint or like to DJ or like to uh, create anything that has to do with creativity uh, you guys are going to start noticing a shift um, we did recently just pass the lunar eclipse and we're going to be experiencing the solar eclipse so what that does is there's a major shift in change uh, shift change I should say and with that, we're leaving old patterns and old behaviors uh, that no longer serves us in moving forward uh, to grow and expand our awareness. So what's going on is you guys are going to be triggered creatively. Uh, this is the general, uh, the general feel for your love. So anything that has to do with business, with finances, with work, uh, for those of you guys that are single at the present time, there's definitely going to be... Uh, fire sign that I see fire sign uh, coming in uh, for you guys for uh, the mid month of August all the way to September and again uh, it could be that you're exposed to people that whether it is uh, some you know like side gigs uh, jobs that you do on the side or anything that has to do with again like I said uh, that you are creative and tapping into that creativity or creating uh, basically and you're going to be exposed. You're going to, uh, a lot of new people are going to be coming in and out of your life. Uh, some new, uh, some, you know, people that maybe you weren't in touch with, etc. But there's a lot of communication coming in for you guys. And I do want to mention for those of you guys that are currently single, you guys are definitely going to be meeting uh, a soul type of connection here as you have the queen and the king here. Uh, anytime in the tarot, uh, when a couple of the same suit comes out, that's ju that's basically a representation of the feminine and male energy, the yin and the yang uh, coming together and actually meeting at the same time and space. So what that means is, again, like I said, for those of you that are single, it's being represented as there is definitely a new partnership coming in for you guys for sure, okay? Now, those of you that are currently involved or in a relationship, you may actually, uh, throughout the ending of August going into September, me, you may be exposed to a person that is of your same soul family. So what that means is, um, again, like I said, the female, the yin and the yang, uh, it do doesn't matter if you're single. I mean, if you are single, it's definitely romantically involved. If you guys are currently in a relationship, it's just meeting a person that vibrates to your same frequency that you guys feel a deeper connection. Um, and again, it is a general reading, so it could be a representation of both males or both females. Uh, you, you know what I mean? Um, 
So again, uh, and I definitely see that from the ending of August all the way to September for you guys. So anyways, that was a long spiel. <laughs> okay, so you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is quick communication, communicating back and forth, um, you know, expressing or feeding off of other people that are in the creative field. If you guys are, you know, artists, poets, uh, writers, whatever it may be, um, basically uh, communicating with people that inspire you or that push you uh, and excite you to follow or pursue your dream or your passion. Uh, you do have the Ace of Wands here. So there's definitely passions being ignited, new beginnings for you guys. And you have the Empress card here. So the Empress card is all about creativity and abundance. So again, like I said, I definitely do see th this is how you perceive the person that's coming into your life. But I am being told and with the Ace, uh, just being um, getting a clear message that this is a person that has yet to come into your life, Taurus. Now, how your partner views the situation at the present time, for those of you that are currently in a relationship, you guys have been um, going through difficulties when it comes to understanding or communicating with one another, okay? A lot of it has to do with the fact that you guys may be money struggling at the present time or having, whoops, or having um, a difficulty when it comes to the family and the home as the Ten of, Pent Ten of Pentacles does represent family. Uh, or within the household. So there's been a miscommunication or not really, not very balanced when it comes to the family or the family dynamic, I should say. Uh, but there is the Knight of Pentacles here. So there's definitely uh, going to be, by I would say the, the last week of August, there's going to be an offer being given, a treaty or something where you and your partner are going to come together and agree um, whether it is to move forward or, uh, well, it is to move forward. I definitely see only positive cards here in this spread. But again, I feel that those of you guys that are in a relationship, uh, you guys may be struggling money-wise, um, but I definitely see that by the end of August going into September, there's going to be a give and take, okay? And what I mean by give and take is new opportunities coming both your ways and uh, being able to actually balance out your practicality so anything that has to do with income finances and money uh, I feel that that at the present time is triggering your partner this is a general reading so it could be vice versa um, but again like I said by the end of August going into September there's going to be this is a charity card okay and the charity card is if you have been struggling money wise or one or the other partner hasn't been working, there's going to be an offer being brought to you by this Knight of Pentacles that has to do um, a message that has to do with the practicalities of life, the mundane, meaning how you make money. And again, the charity card, the give and take. So again, the Six of Pentacles also talks about timing. So even those of you guys that are currently in a relationship, you will probably experience throughout September uh, that you meet, uh, for those of you that, you know, start working at a new job, you do have aces here. So if you guys start working in a new job, you may meet a person that again is of soul, a family connection to you. And you may feel like, oh, you know, gosh, if only, <laughs> I know it sounds horrible, but, um, you know, if it is of the opposite sex or the same sex, depending on what you are, um, you know, th that feeling of if only I was single or whatnot. But again, timing has to do with everything here at the present time. So just let it out, play out and see how uh, things start to happen and manifest for you guys. OK, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, comment my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel and we will see from each other soon. Bye.